Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and today we are looking at why you are attractive to them and them could be someone you have in mind particularly or just in general what makes you attractive to other people. Okay so here's the overview of this reading. First we're going to go over the oracle cards that are just going to show why you are attractive to them or in general. Then we'll connect you with a spirit guide who has very similar attractive qualities to you and you can call upon the spirit guide whenever you need an extra boost of confidence or you need to remember your worth and how attractive you are and then we'll finish off with some bonus tarot messages to hype you up and have you clearly understanding why you are the hottest person alive okay so let's begin by selecting whichever one of these groups you feel most drawn to intuitively we have group number one with the nail polish group number two with the pitcher and group number three with the statue just listen to your intuition here and all the, also i want to remind you guys if you are asking about someone in particular set that intention before you select your group okay so also i want to remind you guys that this is not going to be a monetized video because this is an 18 plus vulgar video so if you're related to me click off now <laughs> okay and if you want to support me and this channel you can leave a donation uh link to that is in the description box or you can go to my website get a personal psychic reading with me or spiritual life coaching or my goddess energy intention oil which I will talk about more in your reading. So once you've selected your group and you're ready, you can either watch through or skip ahead using the timestamps. Let's begin. Hello, group number one and welcome. Let's see what they find attractive about you. First, we have out the village. Beautiful card. I'm seeing circles here. Okay, we have this card and let's get a little graphic here <laughs> uh, obviously the chest region is standing out as something predominant also i'm seeing here some of you might have strong cancer placements sun moon rising venus okay or mars in this reading mars yeah um so that may be like your nurturing qualities is very attractive to people but yeah we are definitely seeing the chest region even like the hair and all that like an overall attractiveness but specifically in your chest region no matter what your gender is okay and the back of this says a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you okay i just have a feeling we're gonna get very graphic in this reading i am <laughs> i am seeing a message here of like filling up okay so you can use your imagination um to discern what that means whether you're the one doing the filling or being filled i'm sorry guys oh my gosh i'm trying to do this this reading's gonna be so awkward for me this is the first time i'm doing a reading like this on my channel but ah oh man i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you it's not just you know the graphic stuff here i, I am seeing that caring nurturing cancerian type of quality where you really do like just make people feel really relaxed in your present like they can let their guard down in front of you really easily like shortly after getting to know you people feel really comfortable um you just give off this energy of being trustworthy and uh i am getting kind of like this might sound weird for some of you, but like a past life as a nymph. Uh, nymphs are creatures that kind of rule over little corners of the earth or bodies of water. And it's like whoever comes into their territory, uh, at least like this is what they've shown me, they really nurture those people. Like all, all of their needs are met. Um, and they just leave that little corner of the world feeling completely rejuvenated and restored and that's due to the nymph's magic so i am seeing you having that sort of magical quality on people when you spend time with them they just feel very recharged like uh you you're very you're the opposite of draining to be around you're definitely not an energy vampire in any way shape or form definitely not a narcissist okay like this is good like you you have a home like quality like people feel really comfortable telling you kind of all their secrets everything going on in their life and yeah so multiple messages there we have sappho 
I, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the poetess. I love every inch of my body and I love the women in my life fiercely. So we're going to read more about these cards in a bit. We're just going to get all the oracle cards out and then we're going to do some tarot as well. We have the hummingbird. Okay, some of you might be tiny. Okay, or you just like have so much booming energy, like running around this, that, the other thing, um, talking a lot. I feel like you get into these phases where you just babble on and on and on, and it's really attractive. Some of you might even have a really beautiful voice. Uh, so your voice is very attractive. We do see that. Your energy is very attractive. I feel like you have this kind of youthful exuberance, like a ton of energy, booming with energy, running around all the time. Um, uh, the way you speak is really standing out to me. I'm seeing like you might hop from subject to subject. Like maybe some of you have ADHD or something and it's like you go from one thing to the next really, really fast and people love it. You know, I, I almost feel like the people in your life, um, they just feel like they can never catch up with you. Like you're always doing something new. You're always changing, evolving, growing, which is really attractive uh, because people who stay the same all the time and never change, uh, they're just dull. And I feel like you're always constantly evolving, doing something new, uh, going on to the next thing, working on a different project, uh, finding a new hobby, talking to new people. So that is a really attractive quality as well. There's like a littleness about you. Some of you guys might be, um, how do I put this? Some of you watching, I'm not seeing all of you, might be more like subby, <laughs> uh, little, like, I mean, we had that message of being filled up. Like, how do I, how do I put this? Um, you know what? Just, just use your imagination, guys. <laughs> we have doubt creeping in here. This might be from me. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. There is a sense of overcoming challenges uh, in your life story. You might have overcome a lot of challenges in life, generally speaking, and that is like really attractive. You have like a sort of, um, how do I put it, like uh, stamina in life, which is super attractive. Like you, you, life wasn't handed to you easily, you know, you really overcame your own challenges and worked for what you have. and. You know, that that's just so attractive. I don't know about you guys, but I I don't have anything against people who are privileged in life at all. You know, I think that's a great thing. I think, you know, privilege is a good thing, right? You would all want your children to be having privileges, correct? Um, but there really is just something quite attractive about someone who had to kind of like earn their place in life, who had to work really hard, like it just builds a lot of character, you know, when life comes super duper easily, it just, I don't know, like all the time, it, it doesn't have the same character building qualities, I guess you could say. So the village here, again, is kind of showing this feeling of home this feeling that you can always return to and talk to and feel comforting. One thing I want to say here for you guys, at some point in your life, you might have fallen victim to um, douchebags <laughs> who kind of felt like they could always return back to you no matter what. Like you, you like they, you had, they had you wrapped around their finger. So I do feel like that's something that you have had to overcome in your lifetime or you're currently overcoming that, like no longer just like constantly being there for people and constantly letting them back into your life when they disrespect you or treat you wrong. I feel like that's one of the challenges uh, that you are going to have to overcome uh during this time it's kind of like leaving your comfort zone here in order to grow okay so that is what the village uh represents and you know what in the book i'm, I'm reading here it says though some support you're leaving of the village still you hear whispers of doubt as you venture beyond its borders leaving them behind and we have the card doubt here so this is really telling me like the choices that you've made in your life were not 100 percent supported so for many of you you could have moved really far away from your hometown or just 
really did something unusual compared to where you grew up and uh, you were surrounded by doubts constantly but you never listened to them you always stuck to your guns and did what you wanted to do and also i'm seeing here you do not conform like you're a free thinking person especially with the hummingbird and the village card coming out you're a free thinking person and you do not conform to any ideologies that put others down or keeps you trapped in a system that is toxic like you are a free thinking individual who simultaneously makes everyone feel at home because you had to make yourself feel at home even when you were far far out of your comfort zone you had to create this feeling of home for yourself because it's not something that you always had just readily available for you and because you had to teach yourself how to make this feeling of home this is something that you an energy that you carry with you all the time which is why people always feel comfortable around you you carry this energy of home wherever you are in the world wherever you go and that's something really special that most people do not have and it's because of that feeling simultaneously of like you feel comfortable you feel like home and you're someone who's ventured far outside of your comfort zone you have so much to talk about so many different ways of, of viewing the world that combination is really attractive and a s particularly unique okay one of a kind energy you have going on here which is beautiful and i feel like when people meet you you they you really stick in their minds you stick out in their minds and they remember you so that is awesome that is awesome um there's a sense of intimacy uh rootedness kind of closeness that you give off okay so we're gonna read into sappho again i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right i'm sorry this is from the divine feminine oracle and it doesn't matter if you are a man watching this will still apply to you and what makes you attractive but this deck is really beautiful because it looks into different divine feminine spirit guides from all over the world all over like different periods of time so here we go who is she sappho embodies the deep love admiration and sensuality that exists between women it is believed sappho was born around 630 bce on the greek islands of lesbos she was referred to in antiquity as the tenth muse and poetess just as homer was referred to as the poet she is one of the great greek lyricists lyrists lyrists sorry <laughs> that's the liar okay and one of the few known female poets of the ancient world she reads her poems rhythmically while accompanying while accompanied i can't read today by a liar in a form that is now known as sapphic meter so guys i keep coming back to your voice the way you communicate the words that you use what you choose to talk about very attractive sappho is celebrated for the sexuality and sensuality in her poetry especially her love for women and the female body okay do we got lesbians here do we got lesbians here because i support it i fully support it or some of you guys might be really attractive to women okay so if you're if you're a man and you're heterosexual women are attracted to you if you're a woman and even if you are hetero heterosexual you still have lots of women attracted to you um and i find that women who have other women attracted to them it's usually because they have a really wonderful sense of style and that like kind of homely comfortable feeling like the opposite of like cold and um uh like professional no not professional that's not the right word cold and like i don't know like you have a lot of personality let's just put it like that so anyways <laughs> sappho is celebrated for the sexuality and sensuality in her poetry especially her love for women and the female body fill 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 the gu guys i'm not even exact like do you see this right here it literally says fill 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 the goblet up these laughing lips shall kiss the brim come venus come oh my god i can't make this up guys they come we're coming back to that thing about fill do some of you guys have a breeding fetish okay <laughs> because i'm just seeing filling like and if you're a man or someone who owns um uh a penis 
Um, you might be blessed in that area. <laughs> and I, I just keep coming back to filling, like filling this goblet up, these laughing lips, like filling those lips. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. This is so, uh, shall kiss the brim, come Venus, come. It literally says that I'm not making this up. And this, this, this oracle is not like sexual at all like this reading is yeah but like you see how interesting it is how different cards can mean different things in different readings so i am reading this and it's just very vulgar but i the actual message of this isn't necessarily supposed to be vulgar okay this is one of the fragments that remain of her voluminous collection of poetry okay i'm seeing volume here something on you has volume i i'm i keep coming back to like your boobs or your chest region um also your hair as we saw here i kept saying like breasts and hair y'all <laughs> or chest and hair okay any gender welcome here all right um all right that's a big word okay eco ec ecclesiastical guys i'm sorry <laughs> authorities in constantinople and rome obliterated her work in the 11th century her poetry was publicly burned because church leaders were scandalized by its erotic nature and that the author was a woman. So guys, I want to say, if you're somebody that the church would not approve of, you're doing something right. Okay. <laughs> you must be really attractive. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to say that. All right. Uh, I feel like really religious people, like really deeply religious Bible thumping people, would simultaneously be so offended by you and like coming in their pants over you at the same time, which I think is a gift. <laughs> so good job on that. In ancient Greece, a woman's love for another woman was considered natural and Sappho's love for the female form became legendary. It is believed that she read her writing before groups of women, educating it and elevating them as she performed her poetry about the goddess-like nature they all possess. You heard it here, folks. You're all goddesses. Okay, all goddesses. And so when you connect with Sappho, um, here's the message. Instead of exhausting ourselves with the unholy effort of comparing our own bodies to others or of competing for resources that are actually unlimited, Sappho urges us to do the most revolutionary thing we could ever do. Love ourselves and our sisters fiercely. We can't recover Sappho's lost poems, but we can reclaim the enduring spirit she left us. We can become her poetry. We can revel in the pleasure that we are capable of feeling. Okay, I'm getting another like vision here of you guys like just really allowing yourself to let loose. Like you're the opposite of stiff. Like you allow pleasure to move through your body, not even just in like a sexual way, but like in dancing or even in something as simple as drinking tea or coffee in the morning. You just do it with ecstasy. Like this is so good. It just fills me up and like the warm, like you're a very sensual person. Your senses are very aroused and arousing. And we can love unapologetically with the full spectrum of our emotional range and from the fathomless depths of our hearts. Lift up a woman in your life, help her reach a dream she's been incubating. Take time to indulge with lady loves of your life. Go to a spa, make a dinner together, go skinny dipping, or just do something outrageous that celebrates the fact that you love each other. Sappho is about the power of loving every inch of the female form. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm seeing a worship kink somewhere. Some one of you watching, okay? <laughs> Listen, I'm just reading. I'm not saying anything. I'm just picking up on your dirty minds, okay? Spend a day flooding your thoughts with positive affirmations about your body or a woman's body. Take a long bath with red rose petals. Do something nourishing that acknowledges your love for the fact that you are a woman or for the radiant woman who constellate your life, okay? Beautiful worship of the female form whether you're the one worshiping and that's super duper hot like you treat women like the goddesses that they are which is so attractive by the way like dudes who sit here and pretend like they're barely interested in women except for like just sex and they're the most ugly annoying 
<laughs> people around like the female form is truly divine truly goddess-like so when we all can appreciate that that is great even if you are super gay like i am just seeing here this ability within you to be so sensual and like just worshiping your partner i you have a way of complimenting people and lifting people's spirits uh you really make people feel genuinely good about themselves and that is so attractive people crave being around your energy because you make them feel really good about themselves even the things they're insecure about and you're just really hot in general so i mean we're gonna pull some some tarot cards to finish up but y'all are hot and that's that all right how many do you want to pull i'm feeling five today this will just give us some final messages about what makes you attractive. First card out is the sun, your sunny demeanor. This is positivity. Also creativity. Some of you have um, really strong creativity. You could be a creator of some sort, an artist, a musician, a singer. I'm seeing there's definitely some singers in here musicians um and that's really attractive and beautiful your general optimism is so attractive like i can't stand being around people who are like a rain cloud constantly and you're the opposite you're like sunshine to people we have the six of swords in reverse you really help guide people oh gosh towards peace uh you give really good advice you're always like the hype man the hype woman um just lifting people's spirits complimenting people so generously making them feel good about themselves it's so attractive we have the two of pentacles in reverse yeah so what this is showing me is like you did not um you weren't born with all these privileges like you had to work for what you have you had to work to become the person that you are today and that's super attractive we have strength in reverse again guys i know this is gonna sound so weird but like i keep coming back to this like almost i don't want to say childlike that is like the worst adjective to use in this reading but like innocent this innocent spirit like small spirit i keep getting like subby energy <laughs> from a lot of you but you're very nurturing and kind and gentle um yeah, I'm getting a lot of, like, kinks coming through here, to be honest with you. Like, um, just, like, I want to say, like, use me for your pleasure. Like, use me to lift yourself up, which might be why this was a problem for you in the past. Like, people actually, like, did think at one point in time that like you were wrapped around their finger and they could have access to you whenever they wanted and treat you like crap but you some of you I'm, I'm seeing overcame that and then turned that trauma into a kink <laughs> so i don't know if some of you have like a degradation um thing going on here we're, we're picking up a lot of interesting different ways um in which you get off and in which people find you attractive so uh all good things all good things uh five, fifth card out yes queen of pentacles you don't need nobody and that's what makes you attractive also like you're just so nurturing i feel like i said you feel like home uh some of you guys might have a really beautiful home that you love hosting in you love like just making people feel really welcomed uh, that is your specialty you love hosting you love having people over you love nurturing people like i said you have this nymph spirit nymphs were very hospitable so when people would come to their their lake their river their neck of the woods um they would just a lot of them would just fill them up with all of the pleasures and beautiful things that they needed so uh, yeah, I'm seeing that energy for you. Thank you all for joining me. This was an interesting reading, definitely first for my channel. So <laughs> go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It's so nice to have you here, especially if you're new. Welcome, I'm Laura. Uh, we do pick a card readings here a lot. So subscribe, like this video to help a gal out. Uh, comment how this resonated with you in the comment box. I love reading it. And guys, keep in mind, this is not a monetized video. So please feel free to leave a donation using the links in the description box or go ahead over to my website. I offer goddess energy intention oils. Um, there's a few left. Okay. So if you want that, get it quickly. Uh, cause I'm not sure if I want to make them again, 
but they are extremely powerful so i'm gonna warn you right now like i literally i always anoint myself with this oil when i go on dates and i'm not even joking like this is how powerful it is <laughs> the last time i did this the dude almost crashed his car because he was staring at me i'm not even lying i'm not even exaggerating this literally happened almost crashed his car um so just be careful okay be careful um i also never mind we're not gonna go into details just get the oil and see for yourself uh i also offer personal readings as well as spiritual life coaching on that website so all of those things are simple ways to support the channel especially for videos like this where i am not making a dime so thank you all bye bye okay group number two welcome let's see what is in store for you uh what they find attractive about you i don't know why i just said what's in store for you i've been doing way too many readings guys <laughs> all right we're gonna get the oracle cards out first we have this one here and i'm immediately drawn in towards the face so you guys ha must have a really beautiful beautiful face stunning especially like the lips here people like just want to like I'm, I'm seeing a vision of like caressing caressing your face and then like going in for a kiss uh, and you might have noticed people doing that uh, as well like really just caressing your face looking at your lips um i don't know there's something about your face your lip area that is really standing out here we also see this third eye flame going on here as well um so i would not be surprised if you guys were very intuitive very psychic you might even do it uh quite openly professionally or you might be like a witch of some sort some type of herbalist someone on the shamanic path i would not be surprised but people find that very attractive as well if they're into that stuff i'm also noticing the butterflies here which are very representative of huge life transformation i feel like your energy is very intense just off the rip i just feel like you have a very intense energy you create massive transformations uh, in people's lives and this could even have to do with your career you kind of help trigger these massive awakenings or transformations within people uh so your work itself might literally be interesting i'm seeing um but yeah let's see what the card says deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right yeah so this is talking about your intuition which is beautiful we have the fish spirit coming through for you water energy cancer scorpio pisces might be significant so that is awesome um i am also really drawn to this red and white uh colors here and immediately i thought of flags so some of you might come from a nationality or a country whose flag might be red and white i don't know why i immediately thought of japan but this could be any country uh doesn't even have to be that's just so random um i do wonder if uh, you are not current if that is the case if you're not currently living in that country people might kind of fetishize you for your foreignness i guess you could say for your um difference in culture uh which honestly it's natural you know genetically biologically we're kind of hardwired to you know not want to um do our cousins let's put it like that so when someone has like an accent or a cultural difference or looks different uh it can be really attractive um yeah it's bio biology guys uh but that doesn't necessarily mean it feels so great sometimes to be fetishized like that if that is the case anyways uh the fish spirit is really beautiful graceful emotional um i'm seeing like the way that you move your body the way that you walk is very graceful i'm just seeing a grace a delicateness elegance as well the way that you dress might be very elegant i'm seeing like neutrals crispness and attention to the fabrics that you choose to wear uh i, I don't know i'm just coming to like design and elegance uh you you have a lot of grace i feel like you are someone who chooses your words very carefully i'm also seeing that you try to speak very clearly slowly and in a way that everyone understands there is this sense of anyone from any culture would find you attractive so there's this i wonder if some of you look uh almost culturally a bit ambiguous or you have traits that 
could be found beautiful in most cultures and most countries. So that is really interesting. Um, I, I keep wanting to talk about different countries. So maybe some of you are well traveled as well, or I don't know, might even just attract uh, people from many different nationalities. Okay, beautiful. We have love coming through with the water spirit. Uh, I feel like people find you to be like material that they want to take home to their mother. Okay, like wifey material, hubby material. Um, people just really genuinely love you, okay? It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love. Beautiful. Yeah, you guys are very emotional, emotionally open. Um, I, I just feel like you're very put together. You seem to be like the perfect person that someone, like on paper, you are like perfect for someone to want to have something long-term loving with. So that is beautiful. We have the father coming through. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just wanted to say like daddy or like poppy or something. Some of you guys might be into that. Guys, this might be a dirty reading. All right. Group number one, I don't even want to mention the things that came up in their reading. They they are something else all right so alongside the mother the father resides in the central axis of the archetypal family the father embodies both light and dark aspects of the masculine thus he is infinitely dynamic and complex his energy is strong and regal you know we were just picking up on that like strong regal graceful embodying such virtues as honesty wisdom and loyalty beautiful guys like your emotional intelligence is through the roof, I feel, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, ironically and simultaneously, the father is often absent, literally or emotionally. Through absence or action, the father eventually reveals that he is neither a king nor a god, but a human being with many flaws and wounds. He is both the guardian and the one who leaves us to the wolves. Here yet gone, the champion and the failure, the father can never resolve or escape this duality. It is inherent in the archetype itself. Witnessing the father's limitations allows the child to grow beyond the family and into the world. So I feel here, okay. <laughs> Um, interesting card to come out. If you are a masculine person, this is kind of showing your strength here. And that's what makes you attractive. Like you are here, you are loyal, you are consistent. And that is sadly a bit of a rarity in the masculine energy people. If you are a divine feminine energy person, which I feel like the majority of you are, what this is talking about is I feel like you take no crap from people. <laughs> like you will not settle for less than what you deserve. And that is really attractive to people. Like honestly, I don't know how to describe it, but, and I'm, I'm so guilty of being here myself, but sometimes when someone just settles with losers, people who treat them poorly, people who treat them wrong, it's like they don't value themselves. And because they don't value themselves, they kind of become, in the eyes of others, like less valuable, a little bit more emotionally unstable okay and listen i've been there i oh my gosh if you've seen some of my exes ah uh, <laughs> i was not valuable i guess you could say back in the day but i feel like for you you know your worth you have self-love self-compassion your intuition already some of you guys, you know what's interesting? You maybe actually have just left someone or are leaving someone because they don't treat you right and your intuition is telling you they don't treat you right and you're listening to that intuition and you're knowing your worth and you're moving on. So if you recently did that, just know that like you are like at an all-time high in attractiveness right now and not even just with people, but like opportunities, situations are going to come attracted to you like nothing okay like you are magnetizing right now if you just made the decision to walk away from a person who was not treating you right who was kind of absent like offering you the bare minimum 
you're you've known your worth you walked away from that you've moved on from that uh this could even be a literal father figure uh from childhood who was like this and you knew your worth you found better like i feel like you've done a lot of healing when it comes to knowing your worth and that is what makes you so attractive okay we have kuan yin coming through beautiful and look the red and white again coming through uh some of you guys might just literally look good in those colors okay um like an all white outfit some red lipstick oh my god it's it's a vibe it is a vibe we are actually gonna read this from the book because i know nothing about these most of these spirits okay this is a lovely um oracle deck that shows different spirits from all over the world okay uh from different periods of time as well so Quan yin we are going to connect with her the goddess of compassion i recognize suffering in order to release it curiosity breeds compassion so i'll hold it up so you can really connect with her she's coming through as a spirit guide and she's lending you her attractive traits okay you share the, the traits that make her attractive make you attractive as well so here here it is Quan yin represents the presence that listens deeply to our prayers spoken from the heart Quan yin or Quan yin oh oh it's spelled differently okay it is an incarnation of oh boy i'm not gonna be able to pronounce this avalokitesvara the bodhisattva i listen guys i am so sorry of compassion she is known as the goddess of mercy mer bleh, i can't even say regular regular words guys see it's 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 not the language it's me i'm the problem it's me huh? and the problem is me um sorry guys it's midnight um <laughs> it's past my bedtime she's known as the goddess of mercy oh my god then the song mercy by kanye west just came into my head anyways it is considered to be the most beloved buddhist deity her name translates in Chinese as the one who perceives the cries of the world. She's often compared to the Virgin Mary in Christianity because she intercedes on behalf of those who call out to her with humility and sincerity. Scholars believe that the Buddhist monk Kumarajiva was the first to refer to the female form of Kuan Yin in his Chinese translation of the Lotus Sutra in 406 CE. She is, she's associated with the number 33 because she appears 33 times in the sacred text. I want to pause and say some of you might have been seeing repeating threes or 33 a lot. Some of you might be 33, okay? Um, someone watching here definitely was born March 3rd as well. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, the number three is repeating has to do with creativity and expansion in life, goal acquisition. So that might be, again, more signs. Whenever you see repeating threes, think about how attractive you are and how you're attracting the reality of your dreams constantly. Anyways, she appears 33 times in the sacred text. The Lotus Sutra reveals that the mudra most often associated with Kuan Yin is the Yoni Mudra. Her cupped hand symbolizes the womb to remind us that we all enter this world through the female form. The Buddhist saint uh, Mao Shan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, is believed to have been an incarnation of Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin is, was originally worshipped as a male deity, but at some point during the Northern Song Dynasty, Kuan Yin began to be worshipped as a female. Mao Shan is believed to be the cause of this transformation. The legends of Mao Shan contain beautiful accounts of her saving sailors from drowning in rough seas. Kuan Yin is associated with jade because of its protective properties. In this case, it's said to help with going underwater, both literally and figuratively, drowning in the ocean or in a flood of emotions. I want to pause and say I do sense a lot of water, again, energy with you. Um, so I'm going to be really gross. Not gross. Um, listen, some of you guys just might be really wet. Like... <laughs> Oh, the, the Q WAP by um, Cardi B and Meg the Stallion. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, no, you're also very emotionally like the ideal partner. So that's beautiful. Um, yeah. 
All right. When your soul selects this card, uh, Quan Yin is about the deep medicine that comes simply from being willing to bear witness to someone else's pain. Oh, I'm going to pause and say some of you might even be therapists or doctors of some sort. Um, really, tr or like I said, spiritual leaders for sure. So many of you are definitely spiritual people, shamanic people. Um, just really healing the world for sure. So attractive. Uh, to really listen to what we ha have to move from the ego to the soul so that the story we are listening to doesn't become about us or trigger us. This also applies to the moments when we are listening to the story we tell ourselves about who we are. We are often far harsher and less forgiving to ourselves than we would ever be to someone else. Kuan Yin suggests that we listen simply with curiosity. Curiosity allows us to detach from needing to take the suffering of someone we love personally. Curiosity is a door that leads to compassion. It frees us from feeling as though we have to react to what we hear or defend and explain our part in their suffering. We can just perceive the pain that they are in or we can finally hear our own cries of despair and not seek to judge or justify them. We can just be present to what needs to be heard. Kuan Yin is the powerful energy of giving witness to our own or to someone else's suffering. Often just a calm abiding presence of compassion is all that's needed to transform that suffering into clear light. So what I'm seeing here with you guys is that you are so calm and you are such a good listener and you have so much compassion and empathy. You're definitely an empath. I see that so strongly. Um, which is just so stunning. I mean, look at her energy. Like, just feel the energy of her and know that she's just reflecting your own beauty back to you. Just calm, graceful, beautiful, listening, present, here. Okay, I see you, I hear you. And through recognizing your pain and allowing you a safe space to communicate the pain that you've been through, we heal it together. So one thing I'm seeing is that you offer people a safe space to be who they are. I'm also seeing here, honestly, um, what is it called? Why is my mind drawing a blank? It's too late for me, guys. Am I, my, the part of my brain that knows words is like failing me right now. That form of sex that is very spiritual. What is the name? Tantra. Tantric. Okay. I am seeing some, some Tantra here with you guys. So I don't know if that's something that you do, but if you don't, you should look into it um, because your energy is so aligned with it. Like making love to you, group number two, is a beautiful, nurturing, like spiritual experience for people, like for real. Um, very much... I, like I'm seeing spiritual awakenings from that alone like the way that you move is so natural and fluid and like I don't know how to describe it but you like literally just by existing and being yourself you trigger these spiritual awakenings in people and like I'm almost seeing here like this is gonna sound so weird but I'm seeing something about like someone wanting to cry after making love to you like i know i know guys but like if that happened to you recently or if you have recently uh did something with someone and you got this weird intuitive sense like they were holding back tears or like you know maybe you thought like they were kind of crying a little bit like this is confirmation that they were because i i don't know how to describe it's something that's not really describable like you you just trigger spiritual awakenings in people even if you're not like doing something sexual with them like you offer people the safe space to be themselves and oftentimes so many people don't even have that in their life like they don't have a good listener and you're there you ask the right questions ace of swords your mind is attractive as well the way you view the world is super attractive you have a very clear mind and like i said the way that you speak is literally clear crisp okay you help give people direction in life. Page of Cups in reverse. I don't know why I'm seeing this as people's inner child that is wounded, um, just wants to be loved, 
you bring love to that inner child okay look at that you bring love to that inner child within them and you make it safe you make it okay for people to really just be in their feels be in their emotions i'm seeing inner child healing here lots of like spiritual therapist psychological energy coming from you like a sense of grace emotional safety and lots of water okay lots of wet <laughs> also i want to this this might sound weird for some of you if you're someone who sweats a lot <laughs> um just know that it's really hot okay like people actually find that attractive um we have the nine of swords in reverse again with this like psychological thing many of you had to overcome your own psychological problems in life which is what makes you so psychologically safe to be around. We also have the Four of Wands, dancing celebration. So it, in addition to all of the serious, loving, deep, empathetic energies, you're just fun to be around, guys. Like, you're just a delight to be around. People enjoy going out with you. Um, there's a sense of adventureness about you. Uh, and I feel like when you actually do allow yourself to let loose, you really are, like, life of the party. And we have three of swords in reverse. Oh my god, you're just such a healing powerhouse. I don't know how to describe it. People just do so much growth with you. One thing I will say, guys, um, in the past you might have attracted people and kind of like, I don't know, resentfully left connections, like with friendships, romantic, whatever, where you just felt like you were used for character development and healing, like you taught them lessons, but it's like, so one thing I want to say, group number two, is if you find yourself in a situation where you're constantly healing and helping others, but like you're left with nothing, I, I think you need to be a little bit more selective with the people that you let into your life, you know, you want to be equally as inspired, healed, and having your own growth from meeting people. You know, if you're helping other people grow and guiding other people all the time, but you honestly find yourself not better off with that person in your life, they might not be the one for you, okay? So I just want to say that. Thank you guys for joining me. Y'all are hot. <laughs> I want to be your friend or your lover, okay? Um... <laughs> If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We do pick a card readings here quite a lot. Um, also, you know what? One of my goals for July is to post more short form content, more reels. So hopefully I'll do that. And comment how this resonated with you down below. I, I love reading the comments like this video. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this is not an advertised monetized video. So if you want to support the channel, leaving a donation would mean the world to me. You know, uh, this is a small YouTube channel as well. And I do psychic readings full time. So I mean, the money would be going to really, really good use guys. Uh, and also I have a website where I sell goddess energy intention oil that I make by hand made to order just for you the person who orders it and let me tell you this is powerful powerful stuff i was just telling group number one i anoint myself with it before i go on dates and uh the last time i did that the dude i was on a date with almost crashed his car because he was too busy staring at me so if, that, <laughs> if that's not proof of how powerful this stuff is um i don't know you're, you're just gonna have to try it out yourself but it's also good for attracting anything into your life uh money success fertility glow okay it's goddess energy in a bottle all right. I also offer personal psychic readings and life coaching there as well. Check it out. Bye-bye. Hello, group number three, and welcome. What makes you attractive? We have the lover coming out. I mean, on brand for this reading, guys, on brand. We're going to read about that in a bit. We have this card coming out as well. Um, and just by the imagery alone, like I'm just getting such snuggly energy from you. Love language might be uh, physical touch for you guys. Um, okay. I am getting, this reading is so interesting because like I, I, I'm clairvoyant. <laughs> so I'm like visually seeing stuff in my mind's eye and I'm like seeing a hand similar to this, like on your butt. Okay. Like kind of like as if it's like reaching around and like on the top of your butt. So I don't know if someone's been like grabbing you like that or if you've noticed people grab you like that. Like I, I'm just seeing your butt guys, 10 out of 10, all right? So I'm getting someone's dirty thoughts for you <laughs> coming through, channeling uh, through in this reading. 
where like your just entire like how do I put this like butt genital region top notch okay like they envision like putting their hand like on <laughs> I can't do this reading with a straight face guys be patient with me this is my first reading like this like and I'm, I'm you know it's funny I never actually watched an 18 plus reading so I have no idea how other channels do it but I'm clairvoyant. I am seeing someone's hand like literally on your butt, like on your butt crack. Okay. <laughs> so butt must be phenomenal. Um, I'm kind of like getting really like X-rated visions right now of that general area and the whole like crotch region just being like, I don't know if you're dating someone who has like a sweat fetish. Okay. But like I'm seeing like wetness sweatiness uh in that area so someone is fantasizing about that with you okay <laughs> whole body though 10 out of 10 someone like fantasizes about like gripping you like squeezing you so i i do wonder if you have like if you're like plump or you got you got stuff to squeeze you know uh, i would be shocked if a lot of you watching were like very thin, very skinny. I, I'm getting like people fantasize about like really like holding, holding you, gripping you. I keep doing this motion, so <laughs> use your imagination. Anyways, <laughs> this says sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Yes, I am actually seeing you guys treating your own body as your sacred temple and because you treat your body like that others treat it like that as well how you treat yourself is how others will treat you it's the law of attraction it's you know the universe is constantly just mirroring your own energy back to you so we are seeing that we have the earthworm coming out as a spirit i f oh my god <laughs> uh, okay Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta keep, keep calm, keep cool here. You guys blow people away sexually. All right, let me just start by saying that because I am getting such graphic thoughts right now. Graphic, like, just craving. Like, I want to crawl inside you. Like, I want... <laughs> All right, and you know what? It doesn't even have to just be sexual because honestly, like, okay, physical touch is my love language, like number one love language. And I say to my partner all the time, like when we're cuddling, like we're not close enough. Like I just need to cut you open and crawl inside you and then like zip you back up and then we'll be like good. So, and you know, that's sacred union energy. Like I, I see you as a soul, as a spirit, just like really blending your energies with someone else's energies and it's like your physical body is simply just not capable of the level of sacred sexuality sensuality that you your soul is capable of does that make sense sorry guys sorry if that's too far out there it's now like one o'clock in the morning so um <laughs> we have money coming through who doesn't love a rich person or someone who at least is perceived to be well off okay all my finances are now in divine order i just got have any of you watched um thousand pound sisters uh amy saying all my bills are paid my bills are paid like i i forget exactly how she says it but it's iconic and um yeah i don't know that just popped in my mind sorry guys uh love itself knows my needs and is the source for all i needn't cling to gain or fear loss every need will be met through offering all to the divine you know what i actually think is really attractive about you when you're in relationships or connections you're not clingy you're just like if you want to leave you can just leave you know it's your loss anyways like you really know your worth so well so i'm seeing you having a really secure attachment style and people find that so attractive like you're not like i think you're physically clingy like you love like just being as close as physically possible to people <laughs> but emotionally you're not clingy at all like you know I, I you're not clinging on to anyone you know you don't fear people walking away because if they walk away it's their loss not yours okay you know your worth people find that energy so attractive about you and we have Sarah Lakali. 
beautiful. We're gonna read about her, but let's read about the lover first here with the swan energy, lots of water energy, earth energy. So you could be having those signs. Okay, we have Roman numerals. All right, pulsing through the heart of the lover is gratitude. The lover appreciates and experiences the world through the senses, reveling in beauty, song, art, music, sense, and sensuality. I want to pause and say like, some of you guys might really enjoy creating a sensual experience like cooking a really delicious meal or having like a scented candle, dimmed incandescent lights, fairy lights. Um, like you really go all out. Um, I'm seeing here also like there's this teaching in... Um, Oh my god, I literally forgot this word like 20 minutes ago. Now I'm forgetting it again. In like t in Tantra, <laughs> where, and I don't know if you guys do this, I do this personally, where like before I'm gonna see someone, I really make my body, my clothing, like everything as luxurious as possible. Like every, like my hair has a certain scent. I have like my goddess energy intention oil on. Like, like, I go all out, like, nails are fresh, like, I really do the most before I meet up with someone, um, just to make it the most sensual, magical experience of their lifetime, and I see you guys might think very similarly. <laughs> this energy awakens at the tip of our tongue when we taste the sweetness of honey, kiss a lover, or speak gentle words to a child. So I am seeing some tongue action here. <laughs> some of you guys might be really good kissers. Making out. Um, also, I am honestly getting some messages about like oral stuff. So that might be um, something that people fantasize when it comes to you, or you might be exceptionally talented um, at conlingus or fellatio. Uh, <laughs> the lover lingers in foreplay, aroused not by the getting there, but the slow merging of self and other. You take this to a spiritual level, level group number three, like your soul will merge when you have an encounter with someone. But by the slow merging of the self of other, right? This energy is usually experienced for short periods of time as in order to feel it, we must be fully present and awake with no expectations or rules about what should be. Rather, the lover is in awe of what the world presents, reveling in the glorious details, grateful to savor every last drop of life's offerings. Guys, I'm getting hot just like tuning into your energy. Like this is so seductive. You are a seductress, y'all. Oh, hi, Luna. Some of you guys might have cats as well because Luna's coming through. Uh, I'm not surprised she's coming through for your reading because your energy was so snuggly. Luna's energy is so snuggly. And she only comes through when she senses that someone who's getting a reading needs her healing snugs. So everyone say hi to Luna. Um, anyways. <laughs> We uh, are going to read about Sarah La Cali. Uh, so let's find that from the book. This is from a beautiful deck called the Divine Feminine Oracle. And it has spirit guides from all over the world. So many different cultures, religions, everything. And because you chose Sarah La Cali, you, the, what makes her attractive is also what makes you attractive. Okay, so we're going to read about her. We're gonna learn about her. She's gonna introduce herself as your spirit guide into sensuality, into your own beauty, your own beautiful soul, okay? So whenever you need to feel more beautiful, this is a spirit guide that you can um, talk to, all right? A little introduction here. Sarah Lacalie is the symbol of the love that endures, the love that never dies. There are three main legends that surround Saint Sarah. First, she is known as a charitable noblewoman who collects alms for the poor in Santes Maries de la Mer. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, uh, for my pronunciation. In the south of France. Yeah, I definitely butchered that. Um, <laughs> at the beginning of the first century. She had a vision that the female saints who were present at Jesus' death 
would arrive on their shores. And when they did, around the year 42, St. Sarah was the first to lovingly welcome them with open arms. The golden legend from the 13th century says that St. Sarah arrived with the three Marys, Mary Megladine, Mother Mary, and Mary of Bethany as one of their slaves. She was said to be an Egyptian, very beautiful, and endowed with endowed with healing powers. Stunning. You guys have healing powers? I knew it. The third legend is that St. Sarah is the daughter of Mary Mag Mag Magdalene. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not religious. I don't know how to pronounce like half the stuff. And Jesus Christ. During the persecution of the early Christians, it is believed that Mary Magdalene fled with young Sarah's Jesus, the young Sarah Jesus's mother and Mary of Bethany to the south of France. There she raised Sarah and continued her ministry of love, of becoming what Christ referred to as true human beings, meaning both fully human and fully divine. Saint Sarah is known as the queen of the outsiders. She is believed she is a beloved patron saint of the Romani people. She is carried from her crypt in the cathedral to the sea on horseback every May 24th by thousands of Romani who gather annually to celebrate her. There's an ancient chest in St. Sarah's Cathedral that contains the relics of the three Marys. St. Sarah represents the spiritual tenets of the Cam... Oh, gosh. Cam I'm going to look so stupid to you guys. I cannot pronounce anything. Anyways, faith and hope, but above all, love. So that is who she is, introducing herself as a spirit guide, y'all. Uh, now let's see why you're connecting with her. When your soul selects her card, no matter who you are or where you are, St. Sarah's love is the kind that reaches you. There's nothing you need to perfect or prove. There's nothing you need to wait to become. I want to pause and say, like, you're somebody who really just, like, loves people exactly as they are and you make people feel so confident in themselves because like you remind them like you're perfect just the way you are i'm getting like a vision of mr rogers saying that like i love you just the way you are don't change a thing so interesting i feel like you give off that same energy of a saint of mr rogers uh mr rogers is like a messiah in my eyes like yeah <laughs> anyways <laughs> that is totally beyond the point of this reading way beyond the point okay Nothing you need to perfect or prove. There's nothing you need to wait to become. There's only the deep abiding truth that love is not outside of you. You are never an outsider to love. You are love. Saint Sarah is the ultimate love card, the one that whispers what you've are what you've always known. That love is our true purpose and our only true home. Love is where we all will arrive, no matter how persecuted, how lonely, how at outcast we might feel i feel like you're somebody who really befriends um the outcasts a lot like even like growing up elementary high school whatever uh mil middle school you probably were always befriending the people who no one wanted to be friends with like you always viewed people as equals and i feel like you really stand out because you truly don't have nearly as much prejudice <laughs> as everyone else seemingly has so that is what makes you so lovely no matter how long it has been since we felt loved saint sarah is the healing that comes when we embody love again she is here to welcome us back to the singular destination we never actually left home is only ever as far as we allow ourselves to be separate from the space of our own heart i wonder if some of you guys have a more nomadic lifestyle where your ancestors have had nomadic lifestyles. Uh, that's my cat screaming at me to go to bed because she refuses to sleep unless I'm in bed and she is on my head stealing my whole pillow. So I am so sorry, guys. It's Luna. Um, anyways, enter the heart. Ask to experience love, true love, and let it fill you head to soul. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, guys. We're going to get some tarot for you now to just see what makes you attractive to this person or what makes you attractive to people in general. What makes you hot? What makes other people hot and bothered by you? And we're gonna pull five cards. Okay. We have the seven of swords. I, I'm getting like this flirtatiousness. You're like really good at flirting. Um, I'm, I'm getting like a play. Luna, stop it. I'm getting like, sorry. I'm getting like a play like back and forth, like brattiness. Some of you guys might have like a, 
like a bratty thing going on here like make me um so that's really cute we also have uh the eight of wands in reverse i feel like honestly a lot of people want a piece of you <laughs> um to be honest and another thing is like i feel like you're always you're a really good support system for a lot of people like they know that they can always reach out to you um but like you have boundaries with that as well like you respect your own time and energy and uh sometimes like you're just off doing your own thing and you all look at that i just saw ear <laughs> here so i do wonder if some of you guys like love having your ears kissed and touched or like you love doing that to other people i know that's a really weird message or maybe you have like really awesome earrings that you wear i don't know something about your ears um so yeah moving on <laughs> We have the Ace of Cups, that heart energy again, love. People really fall in love with you. I mean, you have the lover, like, you love in a very sensual, spiritual way. Like, I, I feel like there might have been moments in your life, for some of you, where you went to go, like, make love to someone, with, and they were telling you all about, like, or they were just giving off this vibe that, like, they have no serious intentions and, like, don't catch feelings, and then it's like you do it with them, and, like, they just immediately fall in love and are like just this big soft cry baby afterwards you know like i i feel like you really have quite an impact on the hearts of the people around like a night with you <laughs> is something that is like once in a lifetime for people like this is truly like you, you love, you do not judge anyone and you make people feel really seen and heard while also being like this sensual powerhouse here. Like it's, it's crazy. I, I honestly feel like one of the main reasons you came to this earth was for ro relationships and love um, because you're just so talented. You're just so skilled at it. Like in, in both ways, like emotional and like sensual, physical. Um, we're seeing some skills here. Uh, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. People really want to grow with you. People really... Oh god, I just got another... <laughs> another um, dirty visualization of someone like growing. Um quite a bit whether it's you or someone else okay some of you the lesbians out there are like what are you talking about um okay moving on <laughs> we have the four of swords yeah you similar to group number two you offer this this safe space for people to exist like i feel like you're not racist prejudiced homophobic transphobic muslim phobic xenophobic any phobic like you you're just not you're accepting of all forms of life you love everyone and you're the safe beautiful spirit for everyone and that's what people love about you and they find so attractive about you um i i feel like you're a catch group number three a lot of people really want to be with you. <laughs> so I'm going to leave your reading there. Thank you all for joining me. Like this video. Comment how it resonated down below. I love reading the comments. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. Um, I do pick a card readings. This is my first like 18 plus pick a card reading. So leave some love. And this reading is not monetized. So please leave a donation if you would like to. Or um, on my website, I offer my goddess energy intention oil, which is very limited supply right now. So get it while it's still here. And I, I told group number one and two, so I'll tell you like literally the last time that I wore this on a date, dude almost crashed his car. So like staring at me. Um, there's also been another time I wore it on a date and the dude literally asked me like, if I put a spell on him. <laughs> so yeah, it essentially just enhances your goddess energy. Uh, even if you're a man, like, you know, we all have an inner goddess. We all have our inner divine 
feminine energy so it's, it's just good for magnetizing whatever you want to come to you whether that is love money prosperity blessings uh, or just feeling your own inner goddess radiate uh, so you use intention oils to anoint yourself and your objects so go ahead and check that out i also offer psychic readings one-on-one -on -one, as well as spiritual life coaching sessions there so any of those would help support the channel uh or even just watching my other videos that are monetized so thank you guys for joining me bye bye